You're up here with the 11th pick in the first round. Who are we going with? I'm okay. 11th pick in the first round. I'm just going to go ahead and take the chance. And I'm going to go with Keon Coleman. I like Keon Coleman and I'm unapologetic about it. I've, I've heard your great analysis about him in the sense that, you know, he's not much of a separator according to the metrics and the studies that you've done with him. And I looked at him and I felt like he could go either way. I thought he was one of those players that if he lands with a certain quarterback who doesn't have anticipation, who doesn't throw the ball into tight windows um, in that level, that he's going to be that second read guy who's never open to that to that player. Like if he was with Kyler Murray, who cannot like move in the pocket without dropping his head and running and doing like fire drill type of antics, um, then he would be bad there. But with Josh Allen, who can actually move efficiently in the pocket, but also break and buy time, Keon Coleman's better at being able to find openings and create on the move. He did it with Jordan Travis pretty much all the time. He's also going to be used a little more in the middle of the field. And if he's used outside, which Billy Bean did mention that we're going to use him for a bit outside, I thought he did a good job of, at least from a film standpoint, purely of getting um, that step or half a step on a player, you know, now that may not qualify as open in a lot of things that we look at, but when I'm projecting for like the best in the league, getting that step to half a step is fine. As long as you have that quarterback who has the courage to throw the ball and we, and I'm watching Josh Allen have the courage to throw those balls to Khalil Shakir as a rookie and Shakir make those plays. I think that at worst case scenario, he is what everyone who wasn't probably fantasy analysts thought Gabriel Davis was going to turn into. I think he already is that. I think, and then I think he can be more. I think he can be a Michael Thomas type player in this offense. I actually agree with a lot of what you just said there. Um, now, I think a lot of this is type of wide receiver. Like, I don't. For me, I don't want this guy that we're going to have to give the Anquan. Like, all right, he could be Anquan Bolden to be my top outside receiver. I, that's just not for me. Uh, like, but also to your point, that's not for me on like 30 NFL teams, like either Mahomes or Josh Allen. I think it can work, right? Like, people are going to see the route chart and see some of the red and just be like, he sucks. He definitely doesn't suck. And, and I've said that consistently when talking about Coleman. Um, he works the middle of the field well. You know, you look at his dig route success rate is really good um, or it's 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 average. It's solid. 73.1 percent is pretty good. Uh, again, solid average score. It's not spectacular, but it's fine. Um, he's got good hands. I'm with you. Like he doesn't drop passes. Uh, that's going to be appealing for the bills after living through the Gabriel Davis experience. That's going to be critical. I'm with you that he works off script well, which is a must for Josh Allen. If you're not going to work, if you're going to work off script, if you're not going to work off script, you cannot play in this Bills offense. He's just a difficult evaluation because, like, like you mentioned, with reception perception, like he history is not on his side. 